Hello YouTube, my fellow Trekkers and Preppers. What's up everybody? Welcome back to episode number 5 of Survival Saturday. And today, we're going to be talking about knots. For those who are new, we do hype vlogs, bushcraft gear reviews, and Survival Saturdays. So, if you could, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. And if you guys stick around to the end, I'll show you my little trick on how I wrap up my ropes. The first knot I want to cover, guys, is going to be a simple square knot. This could be used to join two ropes together or as a connection over top of an object. So, very simple knot. You're going to go left over right, and then you're going to reverse it and go right over left, cinching it down. Now you should have a square knot. All good knots, guys should have a break point so this you just wiggle it a little bit and it should loosen them right up and they'll be able to slide but while under load and tension they're not going anywhere a good knot to know to secure a line to an object would be the clove hitch so grab yourself a decent amount of length create a bite with this bite we're going to go right behind the left and form a loop and we're going to do that one more time right behind the left to form a loop the right loop goes over top of the left loop and pulling on both ends pull tightly make your rope uniform and now if you pull this way or pull this way your ropes will use friction and hold on creating a friction knot on the back end your rope should look uniform and parallel to one another this is the clovitch another useful knot is going to be the bowline so I take about a foot of rope and you're going to put your working end over here turning this grabbing making a bite turning it clockwise now take your tail end simple way to remember this the rabbit comes out of the hole goes around the tree and then back through the hole pulling tightly so right here you just create a working loop you can take the other end of your rope and run it through here having an object in the middle and really be able to ratchet down on something let's say a ridge line for your tarp or tent this is a great knot guys it's very functional great when you're out camping hiking next knot up on the list is going to be the figure eight so grab yourself a decent amount of rope or cordage this knot is used a lot in climbing and it's very unlikely that it's going to back out from itself now once you have your bite grab it if you can now turn it so your bite goes underneath the working end of your rope bring that up over and through the loop that you created and pull as you could see this almost looks like a figure eight thus the name the figure eight knot now you could use this pull your rope through like the bowline or you could clip a carabiner on here and attach that to your harness and rappel down. Now, let me show you another way real quick how to tie this knot. Let's say you didn't have a carabiner, but you had a loop and you needed it to go through there. So, you're going to take your rope, creating a bite, twist twice. Once over, twice over, and now pull the slack part of the rope through that top loop and you have a figure eight now all you have to do to complete this is let the snake come in and follow along the line of rope where it came out so up and over down under up and through and there's your figure eight knot another good knot that you could use to set up a ridge line 
would be the taut line hitch. So you're going to grab a bite of rope for this. You're going to take your trailing end, putting it over your working end. Doing that once and twice, creating two loops on that side of the rope. And then you're going to go over your working end and through. Pulling tight. Now, this is a great knot for when you are working under load and you want to create different tensions within a knot. Let's see. Tighten it up. Just give it a pull. Okay. And now, we should be able to loosen and she'll hold tension. You could loosen it or tighten it as needed. It's a great knot, great for ridge lines on either tents or on a tarp. And this is what the knot should look like. Your trailing end should be going opposite of this end right here. That's what it looks like on the back. And then the front. Another good knot to know is the fisherman's or a safety knot. You could use it to join two ends of rope together. So we're going to take our one end and we're going to go up and over the rope, creating a loop, up and over one more time, making sure to come under this end of the rope here. Then up and through the X, pulling tightly making sure that our knots stay uniform. Should look like this. Now, on the other end, we are going to do the same thing, just going under. So under once, two times, up and over this part of the rope here, and then through our X, pulling tightly. Essentially, this creates a slip knot, but when you pull the two together, and put force onto them, they're not going anywhere. Well, I think that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Thank you for sticking around, and to anyone who's new, hit that subscribe button. Helps the channel out. The trick I was talking about earlier, how I wrap my rope. So, you're going to grab it between your thumb and pointer, come underneath your thumb's heel, through the middle and ring, up and over. From there, it's just a rinse and repeat motion. And you're going to go until you have about a meter of rope left. I actually learned this from MCQ Bushcraft and Wilderness Life, guys. So this is not my original method. Once you're there, pull it off. Simply wrap your remaining rope around. and come up, and I usually go through the second line down, pull tight, mic drop. Remember guys, get out there, trek, thrive, and survive. I'll catch you on the trail.